hi guys and welcome to another tutorial in this session i'm going to show you guys how to put together and have it referencing all right so let's start by first of all i'm going to click here where i intend to enter the reference where i grab this from so make sure on your word document you come right here where we have reference look at it reference and in the reference you see right here okay where we have citation look at it insert citation i'm going to click on that and because i intend to add new source click on new right let's say assuming i got it from a book so there i'm just going to enter the name the name of the author let's assume the author's name is paul and if it happens to be corporate author just click in there so what will happen is you see Paul Oman details is now here because it's a corporate photo. If not, it's going to be right there. So let's say the title of this is Computational Thinking Skills. And here, I'm going to make that 2005 CT Scan the London. And publisher, that is going to be right. And that's it. So all they need to do is click on OK yeah look at it right there okay now citation is there that's Oren 2005 let's come into the composition so let's make up something for the composition as well so i'm going to go back into insert and this time around i'm inserting new again so i got that information let's say i got it from let's say gloria more and in here just call it the title let's see the title we just call that the composition and year that was written let's say 2001 city call that Kilburn. and publisher happened to be sally jones and just click on that there we go that's the citation from more next one here let's go into pattern recognition just put in something for pattern recognition and with the pattern recognition i'm going to select new again and that is going to be from geraldine and the title of that is i think that's meant to be pattern recognition something like that you can just call it pattern and year 2000 and here the city we can call that call and here we can just say college college printing press all right let's click on okay there so we have four authors so let's come right down here you see where we have abstraction here in the case of the abstraction i'm going to make that the website so let's come in here click on that go back into insert and i'm going to add new source again but this time around, instead of book, I'm going to drop that down and let's select website. There we go. That's the website. Okay. The name of the website. And let's say the website that was used is one of the learning sources. I'm going to come in here and just enter that. And name of the website is called learning. And the name of the as a web page the name of the website is called learning learning site the year 2002 the month called that June and day and the website there we go right and all they need to do is just click on ok there we go that's the details of the website if you now come right down here so let's say that is all for all our referencing or we can just a reference maybe one more come in here get this reference oh uh, that is uh the bugging and optimization let's just get that reference why not so dump it right here so come here and i'm going to click on this very one i'm going to say that was uh, by Geraldine as well so once I click on Geraldine, there we go. It's right there. So I don't need to write any other thing about it. 
Okay, so come right down here and just create your, your reference. So in this case, it can either be bibliography or if you want, you can select reference. The choice is yours. So right underneath here, let's click on either bibliography. Look at it right there. You see that, guys? You can take it to the next page. The choice is yours. And that is how you create your own reference or avid referencing in Microsoft Office. So with that guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel. You all have a nice day now and bye for now.